Okay, so I'm uh, underneath my bed um, because I'm on my desktop and uh, I live in San Francisco, so space is difficult to uh, have a lot of. Um, today we're going to be doing more super happy fun adventures with uh, Spark. Um, we're going to be focusing on uh, PMML support, I think, today most likely because I have a sort of partial uh, thing that I got to last live stream, and so we're going to work on that. Um, if you're interested in seeing more of a code review rather than a live coding session, um, tomorrow morning I'll be doing a, a code review for one of DB size pull requests, um, and that'll hopefully be pretty neat. And so definitely tune in tomorrow if that's what you're looking for. Or I mean, you can of course tune in both days and that would be lovely. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit more sort of last minute setup because uh, never nothing ever goes according to plan. Um, all right, because that's just how life works. Um, Okay, cool. So that looks good. I've got a cup of coffee. Um, I haven't busted out the Joel Cola yet today. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, right, and this is before Spark Summit, um, which is in San Francisco. Uh, and it's coming up uh, really soon. Um, so let's go ahead. Bring that over here really quickly. We'll just talk about Spark Summit for a second. Um, and so Spark Summit is really exciting. Um, I will be there along with uh, Brian Cutler. We'll be giving a joint talk together, and I'll be giving a talk on my own as well. Um, and I hope you... Oh, I am not a keynote speaker. Uh, I hope you join us. Um, so I'll be talking about accelerating TensorFlow with Apache Spark and making PySpark amazing. Um, these are actually surprisingly related. Um, and so if you're in San Francisco and you want to come join at Spark AI Summit, it's June 4th and 5th. And after that, I'm going to disappear to Disneyland for a day uh, with my wife and, you know, have a, have a good day. So with that, I guess it's probably time for us to start jumping into some of the code. Uh, so we're going to go and see... Wonderful. So... Um, I was also stalling for time while I was waiting for the build to finish because this... <coughs> Sorry, I had a sneeze. Um, why was I waiting? Oh, right, because, you know, building is not a lot of fun. Um, but since we're actually on my uh, desktop computer this time, I'm hoping that uh, this is going to work out better because uh, it's got slightly more cores so that when we're doing our building, uh, we'll hopefully have less problems. Um, but let's go ahead, and the first thing that I need to do is go over here, sure. Um, and the thing that I need to do is I need to find the branch that I was working on before uh, and check it out, because I was working on it on a different computer. So if I go git branch, it's just like, hey, you're on master. So if I go git branch dash a, and then I grab for pmml, um, cool. So this is the one that I think we were working on. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out. And I also go ahead and rebase this on top of master really quickly. Actually, probably should have done a merge commit rather than a rebase, given that I'm working on this on two computers and I'm lazy. But this is whatever. This is good enough for today. Uh, so then we can go back here. I'm going to move this one over uh, to the compile package. And let's do a test compile as well. Um, I don't remember super where we left off, so I'm going to do a git diff from master and see sort of what we've done. So, okay, this looks solid. Um, one of the things that we need to do when we're changing model writer types is we need to register it. And so it looks like we've registered the internal standard scalar model writer. So that's solid. Uh, and we've we've added the internal standard scalar model writer. So that looks good. Um, looks like we haven't... Oh, we started to add the PMML one. Okay, that's interesting. 
and okay there's a to-do note for myself so that's solid we know we need to follow up there um i wonder if this compiles uh i feel like there's a chance it might not um so i guess uh we'll find out if it compiles let's see here um, and while it's it's compiling, I can go ahead and eat my delicious pop tart. Oh, I need to be able to see the pop tart. There we go. Um, to, to get my morning off right, I'm I'm not doing Jolty Charms this morning because I just got back from England yesterday or something, and I'm a little jet lagged. Uh, so that seemed like it'd be kind of kind of a rough start. Okay, I'm gonna mute this while I chew. Sorry. So actually, one of the things that I, I kind of want to talk about while we're here is you can see there's a lot of warnings in this barcode base. Um, some of these are, are kind of unavoidable, uh, right? You see here that we're, we're testing um, some of our deprecated APIs. And so that makes sense that we would keep those warnings. Um, there are other places where the warnings are um, not... Right. Uh, so, for example, the yarn. Well, hmm. yeah. So this is inside of a test, but I'm pretty sure this isn't. We're testing new instance. New instance is something inside of yarn that's deprecated. Um, and there's there's other things like this. And so we have a lot of sort of warnings, which means that um, people just ignore them because they're humans, and that's cool. Uh, up till a point. Sometimes, uh, as a result, we miss kind of important things. Um, and so one of the things which I think is, is really great if anyone's looking to get started contributing to Spark is just honestly going in, uh, making JIRAs, and cleaning up some of these warnings. Um, and uh, sometimes you'll like fix important bugs as a result. Other times it'll just be not actually really a bug at all, but it'll make it easier for us to notice the other bugs when they show up in the future. Um, uh, this compile time is still taking its taking its sweet time. In retrospect, I probably should have just done the ML project compile because uh, I really do not care about the hive tests today. I am unlikely to break them with the changes I'm doing. Um, so that's all right, though. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and and change that in a second once this is finished. Okay, back on mute while I eat more of my pop tart. Damn it. Okay, so success. Yes, um, this looks good. Um, it seems to say that uh, the code that we have that I wrote a few days ago is not broken. And so that's great because um, if it was broken, I really didn't know how to fix it. Um, and that would have been a less fun adventure for everyone to go on. So let's go in, uh, open up our Emacs. Actually, Let's keep scrolling through here. So this PMML format register looks like it maybe should work. Uh, or more specifically, I don't remember why it wouldn't work. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add it to our ML format registry. And uh, we'll have a party with that. So I'm going to go ahead, bring this in over. You can see I have this little my dot files repo. Um, and I just actually, the reason why it's up on this machine is that it's a relatively new machine. 
and uh, I try and just put like some common things in there and I was setting up this machine right before um, today. So it's, and actually this is a freshly installed Emacs as well. So it's org Apache Spark ML format register. Okay, org Apache Spark ML util format register. And um, I talked about this a little bit last time, but this is essentially because we use this Java service discovery mechanism. Uh, that we have to mention um, all of the things in here so that the service discovery mechanism can work. Um, and this allows people outside of Spark to add their own um, writers, essentially, which is kind of cool. So that looks like a good start. Um, I shouldn't break anything yet, though. So let's, let's, go, uh, let's go for broke, as it were. So we're going to go SRC, we're going to swap from, yeah, go into test, Scala, org, Apache, Spark, ML, uh, feature, and we're working on the standard scaler. So we're going to open up the standard scaler suite. I'm actually going to go into this uh, split screen view because I find it really uh, a lot easier to, or when I'm doing things like this where I'm writing something which is very similar to something I've written before. Um, I like having them up side by side because uh, my short-term memory is crap. Um, oh, hey friend! Hi! Um, we, we have a friend in the live chat uh, on YouTube. Um, no, if you have any questions, feel free to shout out and I will uh, definitely answer. Okay, so uh, if we remember correctly, uh, the one where we do have it implemented already is clustering k-means. So let's go clustering k-means suite. Cool. So that's a good start. Um, we're probably going to want something similar in here. Um, okay, so it's, that's cool. Just under... Uh, and so we're, we have a base uh, sort of PMML rewrite test base that allows us to more quickly um, implement this. Uh, OK, PMML. All right, and so this is more or less what we're going to add. Uh, test. Hmm, interesting. Um, that's weird. So normally there's a read-write test, but it's possible that we didn't bother writing one. Um, check model. No. That's really cool. Oh, this is my alarm to wake up for work on Mondays. Um, sorry about that. I don't, I don't normally get started very early on Mondays. Oh, I'm gonna try turning the gain down a little bit. I don't know. That that looks lower. Just my next door neighbor is uh, enjoying their long weekend. So interestingly enough. Hmm. Okay, we've got here uh, test default rewrite. So this is pretty similar. Um, so PMML export test. Yeah. Um, all right. So we'll make the same standard. So then this gives us the initial instance. Um, for now, we're going to write a check model function, which really doesn't do anything. Um, uh, and this is just going to make sure that the code path doesn't throw any exceptions as a starting point. And um, just in case I get distracted and happy later to do Hold on. 
validate export. Cool. Um, test PMML write SC uh, instance check model. Um, and this test PMML write function will just go ahead, try and save this, try and load it back in, give us a PMML object, and then we'll say that true should be equal to true. Um, now this should work, right? Uh, let's use the three equal signs. Um, this should work, but if it doesn't, you know, then we, we have an exception in our code path, and that gives us uh, a good starting point of something to fix. Uh, so let's go ahead and go ahead. Uh, we're going to go back in here. We're going to do mllib. We're going to not do a test compile. We're going to do a test. Actually, we're going to swap in test only because our full mllib test suite is kind of long. Go in here. Um, and then dot standard scalar suite because this is the only only test that we want to run today. Um, so let's go ahead and run this test. Oh, cool! And it doesn't compile because I forgot some imports. And uh, true is okay. I switch between programming languages pretty frequently. This is my excuse. It's not a great excuse, but. It is. OK, uh, so we also definitely want to import PMML. Uh, we don't actually want clustering model. We're going to import something else. Um, so for now, let's just make this PMML. And we can go ahead and run this test. All right, cool. Um, we're off to a good start. OK, cool. So the PMML export test passed. Um, and that's good. Uh, all it really means, though, is that we don't throw an exception during our run. And that's not good enough. Um, oh. Oh. I'm kind of tired. But OK. Um, so now we probably need to do something more reasonable. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the things we can do is validate that the description is equal to what we expect it to be. Um, eh. Oh, PMML. Uh, oh, this would. I don't actually know if we set a description inside of here. Um, doesn't actually look like we did. Huh. Maybe we should have. Uh, I mean, get header, set application, set timestamp. Um, I mean, this doesn't really validate a lot either. We're just checking that the string makes it through. Um, but this is a good start, right? Like, if this isn't making it through, we might be losing other things. Um, like, we might be constructing our PMML object wrong. Um, the real thing that I'm going to be interested in is probably our uh, not our data dictionary. Uh, is it going to be in our data dictionary? Uh, 
Uh, is this get models? Okay, sorry. So it's been a yeah. Okay, so we actually add a list of models here rather than just one model, and that's different. Uh, um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look through that. Um, so assert PMML dot cool I mean that's basic it should give us a start um, it might also fail to compile because I could have gotten the types wrong or maybe dot size Changing programming languages all the time really screws with your head. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, it's dot size, not dot length. Cool. That's, I mean, that's a start. Um, so pmml.getmodels. So we know we have the right number of models coming out, so that's good. Uh, get zero. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and write this val. Uh, this isn't a clustering model. This is a baseline model. Uh, As instance of baseline model. Um, and here we're just going to check um, I'm actually going to go look up PMML baseline model uh, to see what accessors it has. Let's go ahead and drag this thing over. Do, do, do. Uh, now this gives us the XML one. Um, oh, interesting. Um, Defects mining field name equals score. Mm. Yeah, defects minus mean divided by the square root of the variance optic. Oh, wait, I put. Uh, I hate. Reading XML. Um, output field name equals alert. Optite categorical string. Feature is decision. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Actually, yeah, so one of the things, before we go too far down this testing path, like automatically testing it, let's go ahead and actually run the Spark shell, export one of these models, and then see what happens when we try and load it. Um, so to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run package, um, and this will make a little package for the Spark jars. 
cool. Now we're gonna go over in, in here. I'm gonna hit clear. Kick off the spark shell. We're gonna import this. Uh, let's see if it makes it allows us to directly construct this or no. Do I have paste mode? I do. Uh, yeah, it doesn't want me to access it because uh, I'm lazy. Um, I'm just going to temporarily uh, temporarily undo that uh, so that I can directly construct this to test with, uh, or not to test with, to play around in the shell. I, I don't need to do this for, for proper testing. Um, but since I'm not even completely sure what I'm outputting, uh, let's go ahead and fix that. OK. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is import the feature namespace again. Um, Import org Apache Spark. Um, where is vector coming from again? It's vector dot scala. Prob no vector is dot scala. Uh, ML dot linalg dot underscore. Uh, cool. And it's under paste mode. Oh. Hmm. OK. Yeah. Cool. So I have an instance, uh, instance dot write dot format. Uh, So let's save our model output here. Um, and because this one isn't connected to a cluster, that should just go to my local temp. Um, cool. So this is what we're outputting. Um, we have a header description. We have two fields. OK, I'm not actually sure this is valid. Um, <clears throat> serve PMML. Uh, there's open scoring. Hmm. Uh, uh, this is a Faro licensed. Um, I, I can't really use this code. I can probably test with it, but I'm I'm not going to uh, do that just yet. I, I try and just only look at code where the licensing matches what I'm working on, just in case I get distracted or to let myself be less worried about. Uh, what I'm doing. Uh, so Python evaluate PMML. Oh, cool. Uh, that is my second alarm to try and wake up just in case I slept through the first alarm. So that's useful. Do, do, do. Oh. This is from my employer. Um, do, do, do. Uh, hmm. Well, let's see if it works. Oh, hmm. I, this is a, 
from 2013. Well, PMML is pretty old, so sure. This being said, this is a really an annoying way of distributing software. That's maybe we have it on GitHub now, I hope, or something. Um... Uh... Hmm. So that's cool. This is being redesigned, but was last touched five years ago. So that's not really bold and uh, super great. Let's try this random release tarball and see what happens, yeah? Cool. Uh... Probably want a virtual lamp. Let's read the install directions. Don't want to check this out from Subversion. Uh, this is Python 2.7. Okay, I'm just going to... Uh, Probably make a home for all of my so there's some examples. Let's go in. Okay, let's look at the make file. Um, cool. Uh, fine. So for now, Spark Mini. Uh, we're gonna go over here. Um, this is in. Config, email headers, XFCG. Okay, August configuration, event settings, score equals true, output equals equal to true. Um, oh. Uh, huh. Um, Mm, not what I want. Um, let's go ahead. August configuration data input. Um, hmm. Well. Go ahead and instead of email headers, .pmml. Um, so cp part zero zero. And so this is going to be uh, scalar .pmml. Data is probably going to be. Let's assume that it can handle CSV inputs. I guess I don't know. Um, we'll find out. Huh. 
Let's see how this works. Uh, oh yeah, world go go ahead. Um, a a that's fine. Okay, let's, uh, oh, there is a post-processing scores to CSV. Uh, I mean, whatever, I can read XML files. I spent, well, I think I can read XML files. Well, let's find out. Um, Cool, produce and consume. Oh, pip install numpy. I guess we decided we didn't want a requirements file, so. Uh, okay, cool, spark.x CFG not well formed invalid token. Uh, No, 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 no. Okay, wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Did, yes. Yes. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Let's try doing this again. Okay, cool. Oh, so CSV needs to be all caps. Yay! Um, this is good. It means it probably supports CSV files. Uh, header, mining block, data dictionary, transform dictionary, sequence extension is not matched. Okay, cool. So it looks like... Um... It does not like our output um, of our model. So let's go and take a look at what it doesn't like about our model. Yay! Uh, let's go into models. Um, while we're at it, let's open up email headers. So we have a header, yeah. Oh, we don't have a... M Mining model, we have a baseline model? Mm -mm. So it wants header, mining building task, data dictionary, transformation dictionary, sequence extension. And that is not what we give it. Hmm. Is that what we give it inside of um, our other? Good friend. Um, eh. Oh yeah, wait. Do we not have a data dictionary here? We don't. Ah, crap. Okay, we forgot the data dictionary. So, I guess let's fix that. Um, I thought we had the data dictionary, though. So let's go uh, scalar transformer, or standard scalar, sorry. We do make a data dictionary. We forgot to add the data dictionary to our model, and that's why it didn't work. Okay, cool. Well, uh, that's, that's progress, right? Um, figuring out why it's not working. Uh, unfortunately, this is progress in that I've also already finished my coffee. Um, I kind of want coffee, but I also kind of want this to work. Coffee. Programming without coffee for me is, is kind of hard. Um, but let's go ahead and fix the data dictionary thing. And then um, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee.
but first data dictionary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and to do this, we're going to go repo Spark. Um, and then I'm looking for like k means pmml model export .scala. Oh, I forgot to set the number of fields on the data dictionary as well. Um, cool. So, we will add the data dictionary here. Um, and that's the thing then that we can put into the automated test that there is a data dictionary and it has the expected number of fields. Oh, and I found some makeup. I'm not wearing any though because I'm lazy and it's a fucking holiday. Um, cool. First thing I do, make sure the existing test passes um, and that our code still compiles. Um, cool, and it doesn't. Oh, white space at end of line on line 252. Oh, wait, really? There's no white space here. Oh. Ah, okay, cool. Uh... So yeah, um, over in the standard scalar suite, uh, got started with doing that. So we're gonna go ahead and make this baseline model npmml. Cool. Um, that's a good start. The test still doesn't like actually validate anything at all useful. Um, let's go ahead, package. Uh, really should probably just do this inside of a notebook so that I can just hit rerun all but I'm also pretty lazy. And I have the theory that this will not take too many more tries, which is, of course, wrong. Um, cool. So that gives us a second model output. Cool, and we have a data dictionary. We have two fields, field zero and field one. Um, so that's cool. Uh, cool, and now we can go ahead and run make and it'll probably still fail. Uh, fudge. Do, do, do. <laughs> Pretty sure we're not actually using any of the 4.2 specific features. So let's just see if this works really quickly. Cool. 
we're making some progress, um, and we're making specifically enough progress that I get to go and get myself a cup of coffee, and I'll be right back. And if you have any questions, please uh, mention it in either chat, um, and uh, we'll go from there. But I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee first. Looks like I probably also need to reconfigure my microphone settings because I'm pretty sure it was live while I was asking Carolyn if she wanted some coffee. Um, that's great. Let's go ahead. This might be actually a pretty good stopping point, but I'm going to go ahead and sort of until we hit a, a brick wall. Um, Or, you know, for another 13 minutes, because um, it's a holiday in America, and I'm kind of lazy. Uh, field 0, field 1, 1.0, 2.0. Cool. Ah. Damn it, not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and see if this works. I mean, it claims to have run. That's cool. Uh, that, there's no output. Okay. Cool. Well, that's progress. Um, it looks like maybe we just need some output fields uh, specified. Uh, based on the PMML spec, which we were looking at. Um, uh, actually, let's go ahead and do, 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 spark.pmml. Oh. This, this is just going to continue to confuse the hell out of me. Um, okay, scalar.pmml. Uh, yes, reread it. Uh, it's like email headers.pmml. Uh, ah. Well... Huh. Um. Uh, fuck. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Uh, I'm just going to manually edit this to see if it gives us what we want, and then we'll know what to change uh, in the code. Um. I put field. Name equals. Oh, wait, why was I inputting? Uh, sure. Oh. Wait, uh, whatever. Okay, let's see if this does anything. Um, 
This might just give us back our inputs. Um, but that would still be, oh. Uh, output was unexpected inside of baseline model. Same model, mining schema, output. It's, wait, I'm confused. Okay, that's a thing. Okay, so this just gives us the outputs. That's cool. Uh, so we probably need to give this mining field. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go back. Uh, let's go find the one with the output in it. Um, okay. Not quite what I want. Um, Uh, field zero dash score op type okay field zero dash score yeah oh. oh I didn't wait op type XML makes me confused. Um, okay, field zero underscore score op type is continuous usage type is predicted. Um, yeah? Wait, why is this not happy? Uh, uh, output field references field zero score without a feature attribute, but no such field is accessible within its mining schema's active context field zero. about if we switch this from to continuous? Nah, not so happy either. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, that, okay, usage, wait. Okay, okay. This is not what I want. Uh, yeah, so field zero is implicitly active, um, which is weird. How do I output this? What the hell? Oh, so sometimes it is camel case and sometimes it isn't. That's great. Um, okay, let's get rid of output and see what happens. All right, gives me nothing. Um, 
Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, no such field is accessible within its mining. Hmm. This is weird. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this part of the schema. Uh, so this might be a good stopping point where I will go and read the schema, and then next time we can continue from here. Or read the schema in more rough detail, and we can continue from here. But I'm going to try this field reference. Um, it's just kind of a hack field. Zero score. Who the fuck knows? And without a feature attribute. Uh, well, wait. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Boop. And then the validator will give us the options. Yeah. Uh, I mean, really, this is the transformed value. Um, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Must contain expression. Okay, uh, let's give it, instead of that, probability. Um, this is pretty close to what we want. Maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah. Mm, what does our output look like? Mm, missing. Yeah, okay, that's... I don't want decision or probability. What do I... What are my other options? Um, predicted value, predicted... Rule value might be close to what I want. Hey, I already have coffee. No, I, I, I got, I, I filled up my coffee cup already. Carolyn's outside wearing a bathrobe. Do you want to come in? It's kind of difficult to get through because of my suitcase situation, but you're welcome to join me underneath my bed. I found a friend for Topol. Yeah? Oh, there's a new stuffed animal, and their name is Topol. Um, or Sibarska. Yeah, but because I'm bad at languages, I'm, I'm going to call them Topol for a little bit until I learn how to pronounce their name. Um, and you can see just the top of Carolyn's head, but we can try moving this down. Hi. And there, there we go. My hair's a mess. Happy Memorial Day. Yeah, I don't know if that's what you're... I don't... So this it's bank holiday Monday. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, I mean it's more like do you say happy memorial because memorial sounds sad. But Memorial Day has become like just buy grills on sale. Yeah, that's the. 
Well, this is live and recorded, so let's... Okay, I thought Memorial Day <laughs> was for people who are still alive. Oh, and, and... Maybe, I don't know. I don't really understand the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day. You should probably, like, figure that out. Or at least I should, because, like, I'm a Canadian trying to integrate into American culture. And it's going super successfully so far, I might add. Memorial Day is when you get sales on barbecues. I, I feel like that's not, like, going to be the question on the citizenship test. Mm, it's not going to be like, is Memorial Day the day that you receive half off, 30% off, or crazy savings of 75% off? I think it's going to be something a little different. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting you last year. No, that's cool. Uh, right now, there's, like, this... Field yelling at it, and I don't know which value I should pick. Oh, wait, does it come off as yelling? Well, like, not yelling. You were like, damn it, computer, <laughs> why aren't you working? That's not yelling, yeah, it's no, like making it work. So, essentially, it can be like, so it needs to be one of these, mm -hmm. and one of them might automatically do the thing that I want it to do, and that would be really cool because I'm fucking lazy, but. Do you not know which one? Yeah, because I didn't read the specification. Um, Why would because you read it was the specification. It's really long and boring. Okay. And did you try each one in order? No, no, no. I've been trying different ones randomly. Okay. Well, not randomly. I've been trying different ones that I think might make sense. Right. Are you keeping track of what you've tried? Uh, I was in my head. Okay. Which is Sorry. to say, no. Um. But does it show you what you tried in your life log? Uh, no. I'm sorry. Did uh, you interrupt your thought process? I mean, not really. It's okay. okay. I love you. Kiss. Yeah, you. Okay. Um. This this might actually be a great stopping point. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try our latest configuration. See if it works. When I can't get the laser cutter to work, I sing at it and tell it that it's really good. Does that help? Actually, yeah. Telling the laser cutter that I know that you can do it. Come on, Meta Beam, I know you can do it. Usually makes it work. Okay. I'm going to try the, this trying it in order thing is like, actually, that's probably a really good idea. Or I shouldn't say probably. Like, that's that's a good point. My, like, um. Okay. Oh, cool. Did it work? Uh. Yeah, actually. Computers. You are. You're actually. You're really. I should need to stop saying actually. You're. You're really good. I'm you not good with computers. They're magic boxes full of witches. They're magic boxes full of witches that you get to like three D print shit and like cut shit out of metal. Like you do all of the kind of right. Like so, when my stuff doesn't work, I just press this button and press enter to try it again. But like you have to like. They take the material off, swear at it, <laughs> put new material on, and do it again. Yeah, but like... And hopefully I haven't crashed the head of the machine. Your your debugging process takes a lot longer than mine, right, to see if it works or not. And therefore, like, we have different techniques, right? So I can iterate more quickly, but, ah, like, you have to spend have a while... I have to walk across the building and back. Yeah. Um, anyways, so that's good. We actually... we. Uh, we know what we're missing, right? We need to add this output field. We need to add this to the mining schema and an output section to our baseline model. And uh, then we're going to be good. Um, that being said, it is like pretty close to 10 a.m. Yeah, it's 10.05 a.m. So this is, we're going to wrap up today and we'll continue this next week. Um, oh, there's a question. If you don't do magical incantations correctly, magic doesn't work either. I mean, that's very true. Yeah, no, you have to you have to know which machine needs which song. That's true. Knowing knowing what to sing is a very important skill. Yeah. That's that's why we're I mean, you're an engineer and I'm a fake engineer. You do black magic in the box and I do black magic outside of the box. Indeed. Well, um so it's been a lovely whatever day today Memorial is. Day. Memorial or bank Day Monday. or Bank Holiday Monday depending. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. It's been great. Uh, we're going to finish our coffee, and maybe I'm going to go put on a bra, and uh, you might put on clothes before we go outside, because you're wearing a bathrobe tied with some rope. I didn't know where the tie was, but I found a piece of rope on the floor. 
Yeah. It's the same idea. It says a lot about our house. <laughs> um, anyways, so we're going to we're gonna go and leave you to the rest of your holiday day. I, I hope you actually get it off. If you don't, um, I hope you at least get to build double time. Uh, and if you don't do that either, uh, well, that sucks. And good luck. You live in a country that doesn't have Bank Holiday Monday. Yeah. But I don't they know if Canada have a does. Different holiday. Yeah, I mean, most places have more holidays than we do, right? Like, America is yeah. kind of stingy on the holidays. Anyways, uh, have a wonderful Monday, uh, whatever your situation may be. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow where I'll be doing a code review on DB Size Code. Um, and probably next week, if there's time, I'll continue this a little bit um, after Spark Summit. Uh, if you are in San Francisco, I would hope to see you at Spark Summit, but it also costs money, so I totally get it. If you can't make it, there's no worries. Um, cheers. I love how it's moving. Oh, by the way, it's the, the microphone is still live. That's okay. I'm talking about how cute Boo is. Yeah. So even when I press...